good to have you now um, and bring you in, especially now, given what you've heard, I hope, uh, Mr. Diamond suggests, what he calls serious stuff, rates going up more than people thought and more coming, QT unknowns, the war effects could have a possible 20 percent additional drop in stocks. His advice, be prepared. You heard him just say, and what he said in the prior soundbite we played, quote, if you need money, raise it. He talked about uh, issues in the in the, the markets themselves, the credit markets, orderly to this point. Uh, however, it could get, in his words, disorderly in the not too distant future. What's your reaction initially to all of that? I think Jamie chooses his words very carefully and probably rightfully so, Scott. You know, a lot of what he just said, I've been saying for quite some time, and I have the luxury of not uh, as many people listening to me as, as listen to Jamie Dimon. So let me translate a couple of things, because I think that he was probably not as draconian or as weighty as he should have been on a couple of those points. Number one, he talked about a strong consumer, and that has been true, and they have spent more than they did pre-COVID. But at the same time, that has been debt finance, Scott. We had a record 229 million credit line openings in the first quarter, and then we set another record of 233 million in the second quarter. And we were doing that while we were nearing all-time highs on average APR of 17 and change percent. And so the summer of spend was largely debt financed. I think what we're going to see when we look back is that the consumer balance sheet deteriorated fairly significantly in the third and fourth quarters. And I think we're going to hear that from the companies come these earnings reports. But do you share his this, view? Do you share his view that you could get uh, another 20 percent decline in stocks easy um, if, you know, things start to look a little square uh, in certain places um, as it relates to the economy is already talking about some of the issues around the world, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that are having the impact, right? The war, QT, rates going up and, and likely to go up even further. Do you share his view that if you need money, go raise it, quote unquote? I, I share his view, and I shared that view, you know, a year and a half ago when money was basically free. Um, you know, Scott, you know that I set my targets uh, based on arithmetic. And so, you know, when I came out and said that I thought uh, the fair value in the S&P uh, 500 was 3,600, that was based on seeing 215 or so of earnings with a 17 times multiple. How low can it go? It can certainly go lower than I can arithmetically determine uh, based on sentiment. And so, you know, I'm sticking with the 3600 for now because I believe we're going to end the year around that 215, 220. But I'm going to start to look at 2023 very soon. And so we'll hear from the companies, as Jamie suggested, we'll see what, what QT looks like and we'll see what the downward revisions look like. And if I don't see 215, 220, for 2023, then yeah, I'm going to take it lower. But sentiment, you know, as we've seen in July and, and, and early last week, sentiment can drive things higher or lower than they should be.